Hey everybody, I hope everybody's doing well and getting back to a bit of normalcy. I uh, thought it would be a good time to give you the latest local and national real estate market update uh, for the Jupiter area, North Palm Beach County area would be the local. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. Uh, so in Jupiter, the closed sales in May of last year, we had 57 sales this year, uh, we've had 112. And then this year from January through the end of May, we had 392 last year and 522. That's 33% increase with the median sales price for just the month of May of 2020. And then the month of May of 2021, there's a 13.7% increase. And then the median sales price uh, January through May of last year was 555, and this year it's 707. That's 27 and a half percent increase. Um, the median time to contract has severely dropped. As you see, most new properties that come on the market, if they're in good condition, they're going to go quickly. Sometimes in zero, one, two, three days. Um, we'll look at inventory in just a few minutes. Um, this is for townhouses. Uh, closed sales in May of last year, we had 38, and this year we had 106, up 178%. Um, and then for uh, January through May of last year, 295, and this year 568, that's 92.5%. So people that are getting squeezed out of the single family home market, they're going to townhomes and condos just to get out of renting. Um, so last year, the median sales price went up 10.5% for the month of May, month of May last year, month of May this year. Um, and then January through the end of May, we had 315 for the median price and 365. So that's up 15.9%. Um, again, we'll talk inventory in just a moment. Um, so months inventory of homes. Now, this is national through NAR. Um, you see May of last year, we are at 4.6%, just under a balanced market, and then uh, dropped down to January 1.9%. And again, this is national. So we've actually seen an increase in um, inventory come on the market over the last few months. So hopefully that trend continues. Now looking at just say the North Palm Beach County area, this is the inventory of homes for sale. So if we look at um, single family homes, 2019, we had almost 3,500. Last year dropped to 2916. And then this year for the month of May, we're down to 1128. This is single family homes. And then for condos, 3,006 in 2019, 3025 in 2020, and we're down to 1170 in 2021. Now, the interesting thing is you look at the monthly trends for single family homes. We had 1734, February 1487, March 1347. It just keeps dropping. We're down to 1128, which is this number here. So we're hoping to see, you know, this trend reverse or, you know, at least improve. And then the same thing with condos and townhomes, uh, January 2325 just a consistent drop down to 1170, almost the same number of single family homes and condos. Um, so going to the next slide, um, new listings, new listings coming on the market, not to be confused with inventory. Um, we had in May, new listings that came out in 2019 were 1,033, last year 837, we're up a little bit more. More people are selling because they're getting more for their homes, the prices have gone up. For uh, townhouses and condominiums, uh, kind of the same thing, you know, a little bit bigger, 859, then dropped to 776, and this year back up to 848. Um, this is January through May, um, single family homes, 5,394 new listings were on the market. Um, last year, 4437. So we're up over last year for new listings coming on the market for single family homes. Um, then townhomes did the same thing, a dip last year and then up again. And you can see the, uh, the similar trends here month to month for new listings, January 856, 807. We actually had a bump up in March and a bump up in April, but then a little bit of a drop down again in Mar uh, May. 
for townhomes, um, January 979, 919, 910, 876, 848. These are continually dropping because again, people are saying, I can't get into a single family home. Might as well get into a townhome, get out of renting. Um, so not all doom and gloom throughout a lot of the country. There's a uh, change in inventory since the previous month. All of the ones in blue and some shade of blue have had an increase. And then here in South Florida, or in, excuse me, Florida as a whole, we've had a continual drop in inventory. Um, price appreciation. Now this is just taking um, the quadrants of the country. So here in the east, price appreciation as an average, averaging all these states up 12.3%. 11.7, 11.1, and then in the mountain range, uh, significant jump, 15.7. So price appreciation is everywhere. What are the um, experts forecast um, for 2021? They anticipate price appreciation will start to level off. Now here's some articles, some snippets of some articles that uh, I've been reading lately in this last week um, this one blackstone is an investment company that is buying um, home partners of america that own 17,000 homes they are renting these homes so they see that the market is going to continue to appreciate um, so this is out of florida realtors eight out of ten homes sold at or above list price Homes.com reported in the past six months, 82% of listings sold for list price or higher. Plus, one in 10 had no showings before contract signing, and one in four had five showings or less. Also, Florida Realtors bidding war is more likely than not in all but one Florida metro. So they're saying all the Florida metros had uh, these bidding wars. Only Jacksonville at 34% had more non-bidding sales. Uh, this was interesting. Dear buyers, think of it as an auction rather than an offer. Buyers who think they can point out a property's problems and submit a low offer aren't well buyers. Those who consider it an auction will probably fare better. So we've had this happen numerous times with buyers. Uh, they do go in. Uh, typically, it's for homes that are updated and hot new on the market and you know there's going to be multiple offers so you got to start with the asking price as you know the floor and bid above that if you really want the home so what are the top financial institutions what are their advice so jp morgan home buyers interest rates are still historically low though they are inching up Housing prices have spiked during the last six to nine months, but we don't expect them to fall soon, and we believe they are more likely to keep rising. If you're looking to purchase a new home, conditions now may be better than 12 months hence. Those who remember the housing bubble of 2006 through 7 may be nervous watching U.S. housing prices soar, but the previous bubble was fueled by speculative buying, which we do not think is the case today. This is from uh, the chief economist at the National Association of Home Builders. The decline in single family permits indica indicates that builders are slowing construction activity as costs rise. While housing starts were strong at the beginning of the year due to home builders constructing homes that were sold pre-construction, higher costs and limited availability of building materials have now paused some projects. And we are seeing that also. We do take buyers into new home communities. Um, they're doing bids as well, not necessarily where you go in and sign a contract. Um, Morgan Stanley, unlike 15 years ago, the euphoria in today's home prices comes down to the simple logic of supply and demand. We at Morgan Stanley conclude that this time the sector is on a sustainably sturdy foundation. This robust demand and highly challenged supply, along with tight mortgage lending standards, may continue to bode well for home prices. Higher interest rates and post-pandemic moves could likely slow the pace of appreciation, but the upward trajectory remains very much on course. So here's some thoughts on housing affordability. Looking at the statistics, 
the higher the number, the more affordable housing is. And if you go back to, this is 2008, the housing affordability index is 138. And it went up way high as more and more inventory was on the market. Prices were depressed with these um, distressed properties. We are at 174 currently today. So it's saying housing is still very affordable. Um, and the percentage of median income needed to purchase the median priced home is lower today than back in the 80s through the 2000s at 14.4%. So they're saying the incomes have risen. Contrary to popular belief, owning one's home is frequently more affordable than renting. It is cheaper to buy a home than it is to rent in two thirds of American counties. And look what's been happening to the price of rent since the 1990s. And we're not seeing any decline or any change to that happening in the foreseeable future because of supply and demand and so many people moving here. Single family rents see the largest yearly increase in 15 years. CoreLogic says the cost to rent a single family home rose 5.31% year to year in April up 2.4% one year earlier. Detached homes rose 7.9% and attached homes rose 2.2%. I will tell you here in the South Florida market, it is significantly higher than these numbers. Um, real estate has been America's choice of best long-term investment over stocks, gold, savings, accounts, and bonds. So just to summarize all this, um, again, if you're thinking of making a move to buy um, it's better to do it sooner than later if you are thinking of making a move and selling and you're not sure where you're going to go we have the options for you where you can buy your next home and not sell immediately you can actually move out after you purchase your new home then sell your home and we can even help provide up to twenty-five thousand dollars in repairs or updates needed so our um, summer 2021 buyer and seller guides are now available. Um, just reach out. We can um, email those to you, however you'd like them sent to you. So just uh, hope everybody has a great day, a great week. And again, we're here as a resource for you. Don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks again.